Hello everybody, I'm Victoria Reynoldson, communication and culture coach, and welcome to Wednesday Words. Whether you're watching this on video, listening to the audio, or reading the blog. So today's topic on Wednesday Words is all about how to disagree well. This is a really key topic. It doesn't matter what you do, what business you're in, whether you run your own business, or whether you're in corporate, we all have to disagree with other people at some point. And of course, it's really important to know how to do this well, how to communicate in a way that expresses our views because we have that opinion, but at the same time, finds a way to be respectful, to maintain the relationship because often we're working with people that we want to continue to work with. And you, know, you still have the opportunity to really communicate in a constructive way. So I have a framework. It has three key steps, which I would like to share with you today to help you to be more effective in communicating in what may appear to be a challenging situation. So let's start with step number one. This is understand and clarify. So before you express any opinion, and I know this is difficult because often we immediately jump to how we feel about an idea and what we would do differently or alternatively, but we need to stop and pause and actually make sure we really, really understand the idea that's being shared with us. So what I mean by this is that we're going to say a very simple statement. Tell me more. Very simple. But actually, we're encouraging the other person to make sure they're sharing really fully their idea, that they've got all the detail in there, and we truly understand all aspects of that idea. So tell me more is a powerful statement. You may also need to ask questions to clarify, to check that you've really understood all the aspects of the idea. And we also may need to check in with our own assumptions just to make sure that we're not assuming something about this idea which isn't true and actually may be affecting our opinion of it. So there you go, that's step number one, understand and clarify. Let's move into step number two. And step number two is focus on the positive first. Now, this is a great technique, particularly when we're trying to maintain the relationship and show our respect for the other person who may have put a lot of thought and energy into developing their idea. So what I mean by this is that we're looking for what is positive in the idea. Even if we really don't like it, we probably could see something that we kind of acknowledge is, is good about it. So for example, we might say things like, what I really like about your idea is, and. So if possible, come up with a couple of thoughts on that. Um, you might, if you find that difficult, then you might even comment on something like their energy and their passion for the idea. If that's even a struggle for you, then just acknowledge um, their position. So that demonstrates empathy. For example, by saying, I see where you're coming from on this idea. So remember, start that step two is uh, start with a positive message. And then finally, step three, this is where we get to the disagreeing part, but we're going to disagree constructively. And we're going to be using an innovation mindset to think about how are we going to build the idea and make it even better. So we're going to actually be working together with the other person and helping them kind of build the idea. But to do that, we actually need to ask permission first. So we need to ask the question, are you open to feedback on this idea? To check before we start adding on our own thoughts. After that, if they're open, and hopefully they are, then we can start building. So we can um, make suggestions such as, what about if we did it this way? Or how about 
if we took this idea and added uh, this uh, extra thought. So you see the point. The point is we're building on the foundations of their idea rather than knocking their idea down and trying to push our own agenda. And that's quite important because it's inclusive, it's team building, and it's coming at, at the end of the day with the intention of together two minds or several minds can come up with that better solution, that better idea. So there you go, there's a framework. There are the three key steps. So step one was understand and clarify. So making sure we really do understand the idea first, we take away our assumptions, we invite them to tell us more about the idea and we ask questions. Step two, we're focusing on what is positive first. So we try to see if there is something positive there that we can acknowledge and uh, help them feel good about uh, the idea that they've shared. And step three, we're disagreeing constructively. We're in the innovation mindset of building the idea and building it together to get to a better solution. Just a side note, what if you really, really disagree with the idea and there is nothing positive for you to see in it and you can't see how it can be built uh, together from that foundation? Now, look, I, I'll be honest with you, of course that can happen. Um, and what I would do in that situation is um, try to be more direct in my language, in my communication style. So I might be saying things like, to be honest, what I really think is. Um, I also might be disagreeing in a way which is yes and. Um, so you might have heard uh, people say in the past, yes, but what I think is this. Yes, but is a very interruptive thought and it's setting up this um, opposition to each other. So try to use yes and instead so that you can actually feel like you're building a conversation together. I hope that's really, really helpful for you. I um, this How to disagree well is, is a big topic and you may have questions on this. So please do get in touch. And I hope it's been a very useful topic for you today from Wednesday Words. If so, please make sure that you subscribe, share, um, you know, review as well, add a comment. And I would love it if you would sign up to receive this regularly. Um, you should see the link below to make sure that you're receiving this every single Wednesday in your inbox. In the meantime, um, this might be something that you feel that you need to work on, disagreement style, or more generally your communication style for meetings and being successful in your interactions with others. If so, I offer a program, my coaching program, Nine Steps to Communication Confidence, which I think would be great for you. So if that's something of interest, get in touch with me. Let's have a discovery call and a conversation around it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Victoria Reynoldson, Communication and Culture Coach, and I look forward to seeing you next week for the next topic in Wednesday Words.